day and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell button just know every single time i'm posting these videos today's video is just going to be a style 101 breakdown of how i dress and what makes me inspired to be dressed the way i do and things like that because i know my last video was literally at the beginning of the year and i was a baby now i feel like i blossomed more into my true fashion and how i look for things and scope things out and statement pieces and things like that so i think i'm more experienced in my own fashion to show you guys how i dress why i dress the way i do and what inspires me from other influencers so let's get into it and yes i did a long braid today it's so nice and i got my nails done so if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, because I went to the Vivian Westwood sample sale, best sale yet. I want to thank TikTok for putting me on. Um, Vivian Westwood was having a sample sale. They literally were selling down markdown items for the Lolo. I got two pairs of earrings and a necklace uh, for a total of like one something, but the earrings were $30 and the necklace was $70. So if you guys know how Vivian goes, you know it was a steal. But let's get into it right so now i'm going to show you guys my favorite pieces that i've worn so far so i'm going to start with my favorite bottom so my most favorite bottom so far is the santa holiday blanket pants that i made um if you guys are interested in blanket pants check out my deep pop where i've made a bunch um i'm so horrible with answering messages and stuff because deep pop is just a, a constant app where a bunch of people message you on and i don't like i'm gonna include all the measurements length waist and everything else in the description just give me a few days to get everything together and i'll update all listings so everybody doesn't have to ask the same question they know off rip and if you want to buy you can buy so this is definitely on my depop i made these santa holiday pants that i thought were so cool i was like wow this is lit um definitely something that i want to wear so i wore them and this is how they look I know it's pretty hard to see Santa and I did the trimming at the end. Some of the listings have trimmings on the side and the bottom, but this one just has it at the bottom and you can just see the imagery, the bear, Santa. I honestly love wearing them with like my easy slides and they're so nice. Now, um, when you guys order on Depop, I'll add a drawstring so of course they can adjust to your size and if you decide to sell them to somebody else after you wear them and take a picture in them, you can do that as well. I wore this outfit twice. Now the first time I wore the outfit, it was completely different styled. I wore beiges with it. I wore my Rick Owens as shoes and then I wore this beige vest that I thrifted that I loved and I felt like everything was complimenting it. I felt very like holiday so i didn't get any pictures in that because it was raining and i was just like i'm over it da, 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 da. so i wore it the second time and it was still a little misty out but i instead i took a different direction and a different approach and i decided to pair it with black so i did a black sweatshirt i did still the beige vest and then i also added out of my ricks okay see like i was still on the same wave i just changed the top so now my favorite shirt um if you guys no, I'm always on Depop and this shirt I definitely bought off of Depop. It is a Japanese, I think an Asian, I don't know, I'm just assuming Japanese Playboy top. I don't like wearing white tops too much because it can get a little messy in the armpit area. But this top I love. Um, one thing about this top I wish was more tight. Instead it's kind of like a loose white tee fit but when i paired it in that picture that i love oh my god that picture that i styled this top with i love absolutely because i felt like it really embodied summertime the pinks the browns the ice cream the tooth gems like i just felt like it was such a vibe yes i definitely suggest shopping on depop because you guys know if you guys are subscribed to me or been subscribed to me you guys know that i encourage thrifting i encourage secondhand buying garments because you can get that one of one look like when everybody asks me like where where do i get this it's like i don't know what to tell you because all i'm gonna say is thrift and you're going to get mad at me we're going to be sitting and looking at each other like 
All right, so now my favorite jacket slash sweater so far in my closet is this red gem that I thrifted for. I thrifted it in Woodside at, uh, I think it was just like a Goodwill and something like that. I don't really know, but I made a TikTok on it, so. We're back. So yeah, if you didn't know, follow me on TikTok because I really just document a lot of my New York City journeys and things like that through there. And whatever you guys want to know or want to see me do, comment down below on TikTok or comment on my TikTok videos. Um, and it's this nice, like the, the texture on it, guys, you guys don't even know. And it's the collar. So if you peep the picture, the collar sits very nicely like this. It goes down and the... It's like everything about this was giving. And I paired it with the thrifted pearl necklace that I usually wear in all my videos, all my pictures. Everybody's like, where'd you get it from? Thrift. Don't ever overlook the jewelry in a thrift store. I get half of my jewelry in a thrift store. Except for this. This was at the beginning of the sandals. Puffs at the hand. So guys, follow my deep up because I will be selling some of the outfits that I've worn just because I feel so guilty that I, I can't ever guys give you the link of what I buy and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. I've decided I'm gonna sell some of my outfit picks just so y'all can have something. God, look at that. I wish you guys could feel it, but the cuffs are so nice and it also has that trimming at the bottom as well, so. I bought this specific pair of shoes on Depop to pair with this outfit because I was really waiting to have a good pair of red shoes. So I decided on that and I was like, you know what, let me not do too much because the top is already a statement piece. So I just did a necklace. I also just paired it with a like you know comfy jeans and then i did what else did i do just rings and stuff like that and a black bag just so i can tie in the shoes with everything so my next recent purchase that i absolutely love favorite accessory in my closet so far is this mask so i went to high school with this guy named primo and he was so talented creative since then and he's always just put 110 percent into his um clothing brand and i saw somebody wear a mask that he made and i was like oh my god what a cool way to reinvent a mask and especially in these times where you need to start getting creative with masks especially fashion people you guys know that the blue mask is not cutting it anymore i mean yes we're not gonna knock it because you know we can't knock it but there's other ways to get creative with our mask now I love this mask you can wear it a couple of ways. You can wear it halfway, where it's like this, and you don't have to walk around like that. You can wear it full. I don't know what the third way is. You can wear it full, or yeah, I don't know the third way, but I wore it like this. That outfit really was kind of centered around the mask because i was so excited when i got it um it's very affordable 30 dollars. i don't know if the price is going up definitely check him out i'll leave the instagram here and down below um but yeah it's super unique and he makes one of ones different colors different designs and things like that so you should definitely go check it out for the outfit pick i really was just trying to focus on the mask i did wear this gray scuba knit um thrifted jacket with um gray cargos that i also thrifted and i wore my ed hardy converse and i didn't really care about how the bottom half of my body looked because it was mainly focusing on the accessory so now my favorite shoe so far in my closet is these raf simmons that i bought and it's so nice now i just we just need a minute y'all we gonna admire these because yeah so beautiful now i love the detailing on here you see that it's like a, a fucking photo image sewn into it it's the adidas rap simmons denver highs if i if i'm correct i'll leave the name here or down below and it's so nice now one thing i do have to say it's kind of not my most comfortable shoe i have wide feet so i didn't get a size up i got these off of depop um so yeah I'm pretty sure they do have some on like Farfetch or things like that. It's just the look of it, like it's so nice and I love high sneakers and I think they have a lot on Depop. I wanted to get lows, like literally they're just like halfway ones, but like, I don't know. I really don't know what's up from getting that. But in my outfit picture I did um, wear, pair this with a bunch of blacks and beiges and grays i kind of like mixing colors and things like that so i wore it with leather pants thrifted i just cut the insides to make like a slit effect so if you guys are interested in having that you know open hem 
bottom jean sweat look you can always just cut the center seams of your pants and just open them up a little that's usually what i do when i'm painting to do something like that right, so honestly i just had this beige sweater on um i also paired it with a black suede tux look so when i do go to thrifts i look at you know the suit section i do like a good suit jacket or suit top um, matching set even better but i did a black suede um top and then i added this waist belt that i got at the thrift as well so i look at everything at the thrift so i just added the belt around my you know layers just to snatch the waist in a little bit and just give create more of a shape to my body and that's for my favorite pieces in my closet so far i actually hate my ring light guys like it's the most annoying thing ever so i'm breaking down two of my favorite outfits that i've worn on my instagram so far so now definitely i have to include this one is the suede the black suede matching set that i did um she had so much love on instagram on twitter everything um six thousand people liked i was like oh my god why but um so i'm gonna explain the first one so that one was amazing um, to be honest with you, I did not find them together. Everybody was like, where did you find this? Let me just move this just a little. Everybody was like, where did you find this matching set? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, oh my god, like I just found one of it separately and then the other one like separately and then I just thought, oh my god, they're good together, so I put them together. So what you can do a thrift tip is just honestly when you go out thrifting, you can always just keep an eye out on what you're what you want. And then also keep in mind the things that you already have in your closet. So I do have a lot of suede black sweats. And I was like, oh my god, when I seen it, I was like, oh, I can definitely pair this jacket with one of my sweats and have like a lazy day look, which I did. That's mainly how that photo came about. I was walking around the city with my sister and I just got a big black leather, you know, shoulder bag that i also thrifted as well and then i just paired them with my easy slides because i was lazy and ever since i got them and they're like the best slide ever so i put them together and i took a picture and everybody loved it they were like oh my god how'd you pair this thing that and i was like oh my god i don't know but i think i'm gonna sell that on depop soon so if you guys are waiting for it depop here don't miss out so you can snatch it my next favorite fit that i've done so far was for narita's birthday um we were at this nice ass nice ass restaurant in on Saks. it was so nice she picked it out and she was good look at the two so it was so nice and i just paired a black set together i had brown slacks literally like business you know business slacks but they're in brown so i got those and then i had like this brown button up again in the suit section just a short, short sleeve suit not too much i did leave the shoulder pads in because it did create like a nice little structure to me it wasn't too big or too bold or out there so it was like nice and you know nice and even and then i also layered some chains that i got from this company and root jewelry that is the best i did a couple of tiktoks of them if you guys want to check out their jewelry and stuff like that I explain exactly what i got from them so that's that um for accessories really for that outfit and then i just paired it with a long a long fur thrifted jacket that i got um it's kind of long because i'm sure it's literally barely touching the floor but i literally loved that outfit like i felt so like my style mainly is cozy like you'll never catch me out somewhere uncomfortable because i can't do it like i can't do cold i can't be like i need layers i need i need i need i need cozy all right my favorite boots in my closet is my cowboy boots like literally i get two i thrifted both of them but that one had a point on it would really suck that though like when i bought it like i saw a little chip at the top so if you did see that post you were probably wondering like oh, why is that spot missing and it was kind of like i loved it like the point and everything was great and it was brown so it just played into everything and then i wore this nice belt that i thrifted it had like a snake skin tanny thing going on and it just made my fit like i felt all right so my favorite top three fashion influencers so far um one of them is what's good so i am really you know inspired by influencers who are ready to embrace their fashion um go bold aren't shying away from you know outrageous trends and things like that and i think what's good literally embraces that in all aspects of her fashion her nails her hair you know during that time period she was coloring her hair and she was doing crazy outfits like platformed heels or like very out there 
pieces that nobody would really usually attack she did and i really just love that about her i love that she goes bright she goes brown she does blacks you know she can really jump in range and you know kill all of those pieces now my second fashion inspo is loose unicorns I, of course she's always been my fashion inspo only because she can pair pieces so well doesn't even have to be a name brand that's what I'd like to emphasize to people. Name brand items don't mean you have style or doesn't mean anybody else has style. How you style pieces is what makes the piece. So like, again, like I'm saying, a bunch of my pieces are thrifted, you know, secondhand, things like that. And people mostly assume like I get it from pretty little thing or things like that. So honestly, it's the way you style your pieces is how it how it will represent you and your style over that. And then she posted up in my hoops. That you can get at louisshade.co um custom beauty supply bamboos that are now 60 dollars so check them out she rocked them so well twice and i love them. my last favorite fashion influencer has recently passed away and it actually hurt like it hurt it did hurt because she was literally one of the first influencers that i felt was really breaking out of the mold on Instagram. Her name is Dyke Brax on Instagram and she really did have such a creative sense to her. She always did high platform heels, different textures, different looks, very much a trendsetter. Like I always saw trends right after she would post. Like she even posted like these bandana slippers that I really wanted. I still want to like this day. So she was really like that first influential person woman that I was looking to on Instagram that helped me feel like I can be myself so truly I love her for that favorite brand that I own so far in my closet is unborn.us my friend Tiffany runs this brand it's her brand and I absolutely love this recent drop that she did it was an angels versus demons zip up sweater and I got it in green because again I just like going out of you know I didn't want to resort to the black option I just want to say hey let me go bold let me just do something different it zips all the way up like the Hella Bella sweater that I got. It's yellow. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you probably caught it in some of them. But yeah, that's the same design on this. And then she has the graphic going back and forth of the angels and the demons. And honestly, I don't know if she restocked or not, but follow her page because she has a bunch of dope ideas and brands. And the branding and the packaging of this was amazing. She gave me stickers in the packaging, crayons, uh, like a tattoo to do of her brand name literally loved it i was like when i wore it i wanted to pair it with a bunch of different colors so i wore it with my pink stan smith adidas superstars yes that's the right name i wore my pink adidas superstars beige cargos because i didn't want too much going on and then i did my blue vest north face that i also thrifted off of depop and i just thought it went together i kind of felt like a little pharaoh now three of the main places that i shop again that you guys are probably tired of hearing of is Depop. I also shop at my local thrift stores and I like contributing to small businesses so if you have a small business that you would like me to take a look at just comment down below and I'll definitely check out check them out I don't like fast corporations fast fashion and things like that um, I really try to stay away from it. it does not matter what what it is lip glosses you know beauty jewelry I love all right and three of my favorite fashion trends so far so my favorite fashion trend so far is the recreating like shoes so like you i've seen so many people having like the creativity to make their own shoe but um those are like my favorite trends so far i also definitely wavy kind of concept going around that we're creating our own shoes now and having just a, a unique selection to you know buy and shop from so I'm down with it. Another favorite fashion trend that I have is matching sets. Now, for me, I'm just like a co-coordination person. And sometimes I just like a set that's easy to pick from and you can accessorize with other things, say like your earrings, your jewelry, your shoes, and things like that, layering different colors on top of it. And I just love the concept of like a pre-made matching set. So like these two items go together, but you can also style them separately if you have the choice. So I like how two outfits come in like one in a way. And lastly, my favorite fashion trend would be reworked clothing. When people take thrifted clothing and reinvent them. Like I know girls recently are um, taking t-shirts and making them into bikini. I know a girl on Instagram that I follow, Kaya, she does that. And I literally love them. I'm going to cop one over the summer if she ever brings back the bikinis. 
and I know of people who literally make corsets out of scrap fabric you know the blanket pants trends i just literally love how we're taking the pieces secondhand pieces and creating them into something else that is trendy fashionable and things like that so i hope this video gave you a little more insight on my style and my you know fits and my instagram concepts overall um these are just mainly a few people i draw inspiration from and this is mainly how i think when i saw my own outfits and i'm in my own closet trying to pick together and put pieces together for an instagram picture or just to go outside and be comfortable in so if you guys have any more questions or video suggestions that i should do in the future just comment down below and i'll just get to them i mean i've literally just been waiting for my lashes to fall out so i can give you that lash tutorial video because tiktok and youtube wants it they want it the girls want a lash video and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell button just know every single time i'm posting these videos and i'm gonna catch you in the next one